Imagine waking up to the news that two Boeing 737s crashed in a single day. The country would come to a standstill, investigations would flood the headlines, and outrage would spill over everywhere. But what if I told you that this is what's happening every single day on Indian roads? India loses nearly 400 lives a day to road accidents. That's the equivalent of two major air disasters daily. But unlike plane crashes, these deaths don't make it to prime time. And here's the most tragic part. These deaths, largely preventable. The fix, AI. But is it real progress or just another buzzword? Turns out it's working. And I'm going to tell you all about it on this episode of Point Break. One company making headlines for tackling this crisis head-on is Netodyne, India's first unicorn of 2025, co-founded by Avnesh Agarwal and David Julian. They have built AI systems that don't just monitor vehicles, but actually intervene, tracking behavior, flagging risks, and preventing accidents in real time. It's not about replacing drivers, but fixing what they miss. Distraction, drowsiness, speeding, mobile use, the usual suspects behind most crashes. So how does this tech hold up on Indian roads? We'll get to that, but first, a quick roundup of what's been making waves in the world of AI. Meta just made a big move to shake up the AI space. The tech giant hosted its first ever AI developer conference, LamaCon, unveiling a dual threat aimed at rivaling OpenAI. Meta launched a consumer-facing AI chatbot app designed to take on ChatGPT, along with a developer-facing API for accessing Llama models directly in the cloud. The goal? To expand the adoption of Meta's Open Llama AI models, all while challenging closed providers like OpenAI, who gate their models behind services. The chatbot app goes beyond just conversation, offering a social feed to share AI chats and tailoring responses based on your activity across Meta's apps. Meanwhile, the Llama API simplifies the developer experience, enabling apps to connect to Llama models with just one line of code, removing the need for third-party cloud providers. Eyewear just got a tech boost. Mark Zuckerberg made it cool with Meta's Ray-Ban glasses. Now, Finland's iXi is taking it to the next level. The startup has raised $36.5 million to bring smart prescription lenses to life. Using eye tracking and liquid crystal tech, iXi's glasses automatically adjust for presbyopia, a form of long-sightedness, offering a seamless solution for millions. The funding, led by London's Plural and supported by Amazon Alexa Fund, sets iXi up to disrupt a $200 billion market that's growing faster than smartphones. In our last episode, we highlighted how U.S. tariffs on China are accelerating Apple's plan to make India its primary manufacturing hub by 2026, potentially producing 60 million devices here. Foxconn, a key player in this shift, is already showing promising results. The Taiwanese electronics giant has reportedly more than doubled its revenues in India surpassing $20 billion for financial year 2025, driven by a surge in iPhone production. It was also reported that Foxconn has also increased its workforce by over 65%, now employing around 80,000 people in the country. Eminent Transit, which runs corporate fleets for over 70 companies across 160 Indian cities, has teamed up with Netrodyne to make passenger travel safer especially for women employees on night shifts. They're deploying Driver Eye, an AI camera system from Netodyne that watches every second of driving, flagging distractions, drowsiness, or bad behavior in real time. Meanwhile, Netodyne isn't just scaling fleets, it's going global. After hitting unicorn status this year, the company now plans to expand to 15 countries by 2026 adding Japan, Spain, Ireland, France, and Italy to its roster. So how is AI solving vehicular safety? Let's break it down. In 2022, India recorded 4.6 lakh road accidents, leading to over 1.6 lakh deaths. That's one life lost every three minutes. While there are many contributing factors, 
driver negligence stands out as the leading cause across the globe. Zooming in, commercial vehicles are a major concern. Nearly 40% of India's 1.94 lakh road fatalities that year were linked to unfit commercial vehicles. The tech industry is responding. And Bengaluru-based Netradyne has been at the forefront of solving this challenge for over a decade using AI. Last year, we spoke with David Julian, co-founder and CTO of Netradyne, during his visit to Bengaluru. He shared that after deploying Netradyne's AI-driven safety system, customers reported a 50% plus reduction in accident rates. Socioeconomic loss is just an effort to try and quantify the cost of an incident, right? And there's no, there's no real cost that you can attribute to a life, right? But um, I, I think studies have created a figure which say that every accident um, results in an average cost of $150,000. Uh, can technology reduce all of that? Probably not, not yet, okay? But we've reached a stage where our customers, this is not us, but our customers tell us that their accident rates have gone down by up to 50%, right? Now, 50% is non-trivial, right? If you look at, um, uh, you know, if you look at a fleet of, uh, say, even 100 uh, vehicles, right? And if um, three or four vehicles go through a fatality in one year, right? If that comes down by 50%, then that's a significant number uh, for both the uh, socio-economic value as well as from the value of saved lives, right? So technology is definitely making a difference. We've reached the 50% stage right now. Hopefully we will grow from there. At the core of the solution is a system leveraging computer vision models trained on proprietary data that monitor real-time driving behavior. These models run directly on the device, identifying issues like drowsiness, phone usage, or unsafe distances, all without needing the cloud. The decision accuracy, it ranges between 95% and 99%. And as generative AI continues to evolve, these capabilities have the potential to expand even further. But here's the real question. We're throwing everything at the problem, AI, big data, automation. But from a behavioral standpoint, are drivers ready for this level of surveillance? Is safety being embraced? or just tolerated? We ourselves were a little surprised. Um, when we started off, there, was, there is always resistance to cameras, right? And, and that's the first reaction you get from a driver. You know, why is there a camera watching me? So we've had numerous incidents where they put chewing gum on the camera or they put, you know, a cloth to cover it and so on. But as they drive, and as they experience the real-time in-cabin alerts and the effect that that has, they quickly realize that this is not about surveillance. This is about actually making a difference to their safety. And once they do that, then they become completely invested. So it's a journey. It's a cycle. The first two or three months is always met with a little bit of resistance. But once you cross that threshold, the adoption is, is huge. So it's the same when we do workshops with, with drivers, right? Uh, we typically try and get a driver who's driven with our technology to also come and talk about his or her experience in that, right? And that helps a lot because this community is very word of mouth driven as well. So the experience of a fellow driver counts a lot. Uh, but we're seeing that the adoption is, has been really, really positive. Scaling this solution could amplify its impact significantly. The company is actively in talks with government bodies, commercial car manufacturers, and is even considering the development of a foundational model to enhance its capabilities. And it's no small player either, valued at $1.35 billion following a recent $90 million funding round. Driver safety is one thing, but how are all these vehicles being managed on our roads, especially Bengaluru roads? Yes, AI is the answer once again. In an earlier conversation with AIM, Bengaluru's Joint Commissioner of Police for Traffic, MN Anuchet, broke down how the city is using AI not just to predict, 
but to react in real time to traffic chaos. From AI-powered signals developed by CDAC to real-time decision-making systems, Bengaluru's traffic tech isn't running on guesswork. It's running on instantaneous data-driven insights. 33% of our self-accidents, where the vehicle did not crash into any vehicle, they just uh, crashed into a tree, skidded themselves, hit against the barrier, mm -hmm. is 33% was due to drink and drive. They are found to be having a blood alcohol content above the legal permissible limit. Mm -hmm. right? So the causative factors of accident is a little different. Okay. I think accidents will keep happening as long as you have bad uh, driving behavior, okay. uh, don't have adherence to safety rules. Mm -hmm. Anuchit says the department is working closely with startups daily, testing everything from drone tech and AI avatars to traffic management platforms like Astrum, a big data system that helps map monitor and respond to live traffic conditions. With 9,000 cameras already installed across the city, Bengaluru is now eyeing the next big leap, using these for AI-based violation detection, traffic counting, and even automated flow control. We are at the uh, traffic management center. So this is where the video wall is there and which where our various traffic management platforms are used. Mm -hmm. So on this side is our uh, CCTV cameras which are speaking about. We have about 9,000 cameras. Yeah. About um, 1,500 have been specifically repurposed for uh, uh, traffic as well. Mm -hmm. So apart from crime and law and what they were actually meant for, um, we have enhanced capacities. Prior to this, we just had about 270 cameras. Now we have about 1,500. So at about 501 important locations mm -hmm. and another 640 other locations for like, a, like I told about for um, um, ATCC, oh. uh, automatic traffic and counting functions. Right? Okay. So that's where we have used. Uh, this is uh, something called as Astram, which I was speaking about. Yeah. This is, this is the big data platform that we're using. Uh, there are multiple uh, insights that we get. If you just zoom in closely, you can see insights, road safety analytics and all that. Okay. So this is the corridor analysis. So we uh, monitor 21 corridors in Bangalore. Okay. And uh, we try to understand how each corridor is bearing. By these 21 corridors, these 21 corridors carry 70% of Bangalore's traffic. Well... It seems like safety, traffic, and everything on wheels now has a tech solution and is delivering results. But the real impact happens when human behavior, discipline, safety hygiene, and conscious choices combines with the power of AI. Together, they can truly transform how we move through our cities. Well, that's all we have for tonight's episode of Point Break. But don't worry, I'll be back with more tech stories to keep you ahead of the curve. Until then... Stay curious, stay sharp, and think AI, think AIM. <laughs>